Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. So after discussing transforming standard form to general form and vice versa, now let's go to discuss what if the given are the center and the radius. We're going to find the standard form or the general form. Let's have our problem number one. Find the equation of a circle in a standard form whose center is at negative 4, 3 and radius is square root of 5. So center is negative 4, positive 3 and the radius is the square root of 5. The standard form of a circle is x minus h raised to 2 plus quantity y minus k raised to 2 is equal to r squared. This is the standard form. We're going to write into this form. So, the given is the center and the radius. Let's just go into substitute. The center, center, focus on our center. So the standard form is quantity x minus h. So we have x, just reverse the sign. So negative 4, our k will become, uh, that will become positive 4 raised to 2. Then, plus, y, reverse the sign, will become, the positive will become negative, 3 raised to 2. Is equal to, our r is square root of 5. We're going to square. So, our final answer is x plus 4 raised to 2 plus y minus 3 raised to 2 is equal to, if we're going to simplify this, square root and square will be cancelled out. It's equal to 5. So this will be the standard form of our circle. If the given is the center and the radius. Okay, that's it. Maybe, sir, why did you change the sign? That is negative 4 will become positive 4. Because if we're going to solve this step by step, that is x is equal to negative 4. So our x is equal to negative 4. Move on the left side of the equation, that will become x minus 4 is equal to 0. This will be the number inside our parentheses, a positive 4. That's why we have x plus 4. And so y positive 3 will become negative 3. Because we have x, uh, sorry, that is y, y is equal to 3, move to the left side, y minus 3. y minus 3, y minus 3. Now, was going to find out the relationship between the center, the radius, and the standard form, or the equation of the circle. Complete the table below. So we're, here, we're going to find the center and the radius. Next will be the equation of the circle. Now, I will go into answer 1 and 2, then you're going to answer 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So the center, <clears throat> center here, x is equal to positive 4, so that will become positive 4. y is positive 1. Okay, just change the sign. Our radius, get the square root of 25, square root of 35, so our radius is 5. And that would be the answer. 
Next, given the center and the radius, we're going to find the equation of the circle. So, x, change the sign, plus 7, raised to 2, plus y, minus 3, raised to 2, is equal to 8 squared. This time we're going to square. 8 times 8, 64. Now, try the fourth, fifth, a third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Even. You can pause the video. And after answering, we're some watching to check your answer. Okay, the answers are the center is 0, 0. So that will become x plus 0 raised to 2. But since this is 0, we're just going to write x squared plus y squared is equal to, we're going to square, so pass to you 6. Just remove the square root. Next, find the center. Change the sign. Negative 3, negative 1. And the radius. Get the square root. Square root of 7. Next, x minus 4 raised to 2 plus y, change the sign, plus 1 raised to 2 is equal to square plus 2. And our last, notice that. This is x squared. That is not written in our parentheses. So the center here for our x, that will become 0. 0, and for the y, change the sign, positive 1. Again, we don't have parentheses here. That means the value of x is 0. Change the sign. And now to get the radius, get the square root. The square root of 36 is Positive 6. And we're done. That's on how to find the equation of the circle in the standard form, given the radius and the center of the circle. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And for our last video for the circle, we're now going to graph the center. Or we're now going to graph the circle, given the center, the radius, or the standard form of the circle. Kindly share this video to your classmates.